All right. Okay. Three, two. And now we're here with our friend, Goth Gray from Beer Nuts Productions. Welcome back, my friend. Hey, thanks for having me on, fellas. It's always a, it's always a pleasure. It's, it's always great because it's so sunny where you are all the time. It's so always dark here <laughs> and sunny where you are. It's like, woohoo. Well, that's that's because I'm in the future. Exactly. You are in the that's future. That's true. He's in tomorrow. We are talking to the future. Yes. That's exactly. it. Exactly. He not only is he in a land down under, he lives in Tomorrowland. So it's even That's better. <laughs> That's right. Like a distorted Disney world. <laughs> yeah. Just don't pet the animals. That's all they have I, to say there. I, I, I guess if somebody was to describe I mean, you fellas have seen enough of my films now. If someone was to describe Beer Nuts Productions, I suppose the distorted Disneyland would kind of be apt, I should imagine. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh exactly exactly <laughs> and so it's pretty awesome i mean you have a new film out already it feels like it was just yesterday that we had you on with the, with the it really last feels one feels like it was like last week with the kidnapping and now you you're in therapy with your you know with your significant other well so. yeah, yeah different different wife though in this one i seem to get through the women rather rather i'm like elizabeth taylor but a dude so yeah no it's it's uh, it's true. I, I seem to get through them pretty quick, but uh, you are quite right. Yes, couples therapy is the new Beard Arts Productions film. It's a, a sketch based comedy film. Uh, so if you enjoy sort of sketch comedy, this is a, a good watch for you. So there's sort of a it's sketch based comedy film, but then with a bit of a twist at the end, which hopefully people uh, people don't see coming. But uh, yeah, so but uh, like all of Beard Nuts films, it's uh, a little bit outrageous in nature and uh, yeah essentially me and as you say me and my significant other we're in couples therapy trying to uh, one up each other on who's got the uh, the worst end of the deal and uh, showing examples of uh, of the other partner in their all their terrible behavior and then like i say we uh, we finished the film with a little bit of a twist i love the twist that you did and i don't know if i want to ruin the twist on this one no no because... don't don't no spoilers because it it was a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting that, and you know, you you did it again, sir, which was awesome. Because you know, you I, the way it started with the couple just in therapy, and it was just like I was expecting. I was just going to be a monologue between the two of you and the therapist, and instead, you had like the flashes to the you know to what the couples were doing to each other and man these are not nice people and <laughs> not the smartest <laughs> people either it, 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 it was a t my wife and i were watching it and and then she just looked at me i love you honey <laughs> <laughs> and it's like yes we well, seem quite normal compared to this couple <laughs> well that that's right however bad you think you're going just watch this film and all of a sudden it won't seem so bad anymore <laughs> you know I, I i now worry about what's going on through your mind sir because you're the one who <laughs> writes all this stuff and everything but it it, it is it is really uh, it's your stuff is always entertaining but it seems like your last couple you've not pushed it up a couple notches and everything which is pretty oh. awesome because we've been talking to you for a couple of years now and yeah, absolutely and, yes yeah. and you've you've been gracious enough with your films to have us to talk about and being able to promote them and everything but it just seems like your last couple you've taken it up a notch and it's getting you know more and more you know tighter the stories and the acting and everything it's and it's great and i love seeing this well you heard him folks mike mike summed it up perfectly I'm brilliant, so download all the films at beardartsproductions.com. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> exactly. We can't say anything else. We're done. We're out of here. <laughs> no, but I know. Look, I, I genuinely appreciate it. It's very kind kind words, Mike, genuinely. But uh, I, I uh, look, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of hard work goes into each film. You know, as you know, I'm, I'm kind of a one-man band. I write them. I direct them. I produce them. I, I spend a lot of time getting the actors that I think – uh, we'll we'll hit the hit the lines out of the park. I, I mean, the for example, uh, Ashley, who played my wife in this film, uh, it took three days of auditions to find someone that I was happy with. Because I mean, I'm I'm very particular with the actors that I pick because 
uh, that role in particular, I mean, she had to do a range of different personalities. I said to her, you know, every sketch that she does, essentially she's got a different personality. So that's what made it really difficult. So when someone would come in for an audition, they'd, you know, hit one of the sketches out of the park, but they'd fall flat with, you know, doing one or two of the other character types. So it took a while to get somebody, but I got Ashley and I was super happy. I'll absolutely work with her again. She was great. And then, uh, yeah, I, I've been able to, because of obviously the downloads that I've been getting has meant that I've been able to upgrade my equipment, which uh, is good because, uh, as you mentioned, the the standard obviously has been getting better, which is because I've been able to get better equipment, which is because I get more downloads because nice people like you help promote my work. And then uh, – so, so like it's it's one of those things when I, I tell the actors when the film's released, I always say to them, you know, make sure you promote it because everybody wins because the more downloads I get, the more films I can make and the more films I can make, the work, more work you guys can get. And it's kind mm -hmm. of the same uh, with the general public. I mean, the more downloads I can get, the better quality of the films because the better equipment I can get, the the more time I can take in filming things because I don't I pay people by the hour obviously so I can take a little bit more time because the budget's a little bit bigger and all of those sorts of things. So you know it's one of those things where it's a rare time in life where everybody wins kind of a situation. It's a win-win situation all the way around, and it's pretty awesome because. You know, I really don't think you need to have therapy because your films are your therapy process, I think. We're all going through it, therapy with you. Exactly. You're, you're taking us all with you, my friend. It is, it, 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 it is true. You raised a good point earlier on. I mean, if someone was to watch uh, my catalog of films, they, they'd have me booked into some kind of a psych ward pretty quickly, I think, with the different uh, different things I make people do and say and, and the different scenarios people get themselves into. It's uh, it, it's not your usual kind of fare. No, that's a good way to put it, actually. That's a great way to put it. And it's it's interesting, too, because you have so many, you know, you know, unexpected twists in a lot of your films. Like this one has a big twist in it and I wasn't expecting it. And I'm, like I said, I'm not spoiling it. So I will keep my mouth shut on it because I know Mr. Gordon has not seen it yet. So no, I didn't get a chance to see this one this time around, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it because it's always a treat. No, well, yeah. Yeah, well ho ho hopefully you get a good laugh. And yeah, hope it's funny because like, like you, Mike, I'm not going to, uh, 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 divulge too much about the twist at the end only to say that uh, people have interpreted it in different ways I mean I had my own thoughts when I was writing it obviously but it's funny some of the feedback I've got I can understand where they've gone with their interpretation uh, but some people think a little bit differently which is great I think that's actually a really cool thing when people can sort of interpret something a little bit differently to the intended uh interpretation and it, it makes it better because it means that you know it's making people think a little bit so uh it's it's cool some of the feedback i've got's been really awesome in that regard like uh, some people are on my wavelength and some people are a little bit different but they like it for other reasons and that's that's very cool as well i totally understand that and everything so are you already quickly working on your next project so you can put that out in two weeks also <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to get an audio piece because obviously we've got the uh, audio section of the website as well where we've got uh, like 20-minute uh, long scripted uh, sketches. Uh, so I've got 15. So I'm doing uh, – I'm booked in to do another one in December. So there'll be a little audio piece that will pop up in December. So if you follow Beer Nuts Productions on social media, which hopefully everybody does, uh, you'll be able to see a little uh, – clip of that come up and there'll be a, a new little audio piece to finish the year with because uh, they're always fun to do the little little quick little audio pieces just to keep people uh going until the uh, the next uh, film extravaganza rolls around that is awesome sir it's and it's great because it's always neat to see what you come up with next and you know or as we like to say from the deep dark touches of the warped mind of goth gray it's pretty awesome <laughs> <laughs> which is it, it is great and you know it's always fun to talk to you and as we always like to say how could people find you and how could they find your films 
Absolutely. So there's only one place to go, and that's beernutsproductions.com. So just hit up the beernutsproductions.com website. Uh, well, obviously, because I said .com, so clearly it's a website. Uh, but, um, yeah, if you just hit that up and you'll see the movies link, you click on there and all the films are there. Plus, like I say, the audio downloads are there. Uh, the podcast is still up there and, and going and there's all sorts of stuff. I actually did the math and uh, we're at uh, number 50 for all of the projects put together. We've actually done wow. 50 total projects. So uh, Congratulations. Cool. That's solid, man. So, yeah, in 12 years. So uh, 2010 was when I released my very first film. And since then, I've done the 27 films, the audio downloads, the podcast. So there's 80 episodes of the podcast. And there's also a few books in there as well. So there's uh, something for everybody. So, yeah, 50 projects total on the uh, Beer Nuts Productions website. So lots, hopefully, to keep people entertained uh, over the uh, festive season when their family are annoying them and they need to go to another room. It's always good for a laugh, as we like to say. <laughs> Goff, thank you so, so much. Let's take a quick break, and we will be back in a moment, and we will close up the show. And we're done, my friends. Cool. Yay.